And hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a review style video but we are not reviewing a blaster today. We are reviewing this guy right here. This is the brand new ammo counter from Ammo Counter and I believe it is the Ammo Counter V2. It is a lot smaller than the V1 and comes in a wonderful um, completely orange tip or half or not really half three quarters black and then with a orange tip I bought this for a very specific reason for a very specific blaster but I thought it'd be really cool to make a review of it because I haven't seen that many reviews of the ammo counter v2 out so here it is this is the main body one Phillips head screw back here and the back plate comes off there is a 9 volt battery over here to be changed and all your processing boards over here you don't want to mess with these you only want to um, re-put in your battery. Now mine did ship with a brand new 9 volt battery in it, so I did not have to change the battery. It is still going strong and it's been through a war, some playing around, and a bunch of testing as it's going to get more testing throughout this video. So, the listing, I did buy this off of Ammo Counter's Etsy page. You guys can go ahead and check that out. Etsy is a wonderful place for creators to sell their products or creations. So wonderful, wonderful website slash app. And I personally use it to get a whole bunch of my parts as well as some of my <clears throat> equipment and stuff that I use. So the whole point of an ammo counter is to, well, count your ammo. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slap this on a blast. All right. The first blaster we have here is a lightly modified soap masking paint job very nice the ammo counter slides onto any rail this rail is a little bit finicky because of how i painted it so it won't slide on all the way and with a normal barrel mount again that is your range uh, with your your threaded nylon cord and it just slaps on there like any other so to turn your ammo counter v2 on let me collapse my stock here there's a switch right here. You're going to flip it over, wait approximately two seconds, and there we go. Now we're on. There are two other buttons here. The button all the way over here is to cycle through your options. So 6, 10, 12, 15, 18, 22, 25, and 35, and then to 0, and then back to 6. And I really like the fact that um, the ammo counter has the 22 dart setting for the 22 round worker magazines. I really like that a lot and I feel like that was the perfect addition to the ammo counter to make it just that much better for everyone in the hobby. Because the 22 round worker banana mags are huge, really high capacity and you don't have to rely on a drum style magazine to hold over 20 rounds. So the really cool thing here is how it works so of course with the original ammo counter it does work with a sensor up here as you can see we are at six i'm going to put my thing fifth finger through the barrel there five four three two and one so now when i go through this last time it's going to reset zero and then back up to six i believe that is a change from the original version that you would have to click the reset button now if you do have to reset and you only go through a few darts because you are playing HVZ or you're in a uh, combat style game rather than just playing around with your friends. And you do, and you know, because your ammo counter tells you, you have three or four darts left. You can choose to ditch that magazine and reload. And that's what the center button is for here. You go ahead and click that and you are now reset at six. So you don't have to blow through your whole magazine before you reload. You can easily just press in your mag or at least pull out and before you fire, come up, click that button, and now you are ready to go. But this, of course, is not the only blaster that can take the ammo. And here we have it on a Modulus Recon Mark II. A little short, didn't want to add a barrel here, but we are still set for six darts. We have a six-round magazine in and ready to go. Uh, it's going to be a little fun for me to prime, but we're certainly going to try it. But so it does work on pistol-style blasters. You can, of course, add the modulus style barrel extension to get yourself more so you don't have all this cable here but it doesn't necessarily get in my way and of course it is nice while priming you don't want to have it 
um, too far away. You could, of course, mount it over here with a 3D printed 90 degree angle. So it'd be over here, but I am personally, um, I shoot right-handed. So of course that would not work for me. So I'm gonna fire this off a bit in front of the camera. I have one dart loaded in here, no magazine. And we can see that change to a five magazine in here. And when I fire off my last dart, my last dart, it auto resets to six. Which again is a thing I think is a wonderful feature is one being able to put this on so many different blasters. As long as it has a barrel attachment and a rail that isn't too far away, you're going to be all right. If it is a um, priming blaster, a top slide priming blaster like a Retaliator or a original Recon or a Recon Mark II, you might have the issue depending on if you mount it on the side or if you mount it up on the slide and you have... Um, some kind of pump grip or maybe your rail is stationary that would work great but along here when it is moving you always want to make sure you have enough slack so we're going to go ahead and throw this on yet another blast all right and right here is this ammo counters permanent home this is my nerf and strike elite stinger raven aka my excalibur this will have its own video coming up not too long from now, I got to install a few more parts. I got to just fix a few things that are a little bit fickle with its design as of right now, but the ammo counter looks great on here. If anyone watching this has checked out my uh, my Instagram at Rackets96, you would see a build, um, not build video, but pictures of the build progress on there that I will link, or not that I will link, that I will add into its original uh, video when it has it. I'll put all those pictures in there to... Uh, kind of have it up there so it is uh, out for everyone to see. But the ammo counter is great. It's nice, it has iron sights up here on the top, just so you have some kind of point of view, so you can close an eye if that is your thing, or you can just kind of keep it away from yourself and go from there. But the reason it is so great is because of how quick it keeps up with you. So we have a six. And we have a 10 round banana mag. I will have to change settings here, but this is just to show how quick it will count with me and how quick I can reload a Raven. Hopefully you guys could see that. But so there we are, it does feed very quickly. This isn't like a full auto rapid strike or anything. This is very controlled semi-auto fire. But now, I love the idea of an ammo counter. I really do. Having this sensor up in the front is wonderful because one, it's super great for HVZ. So you know if you're running a 12 round mag here, you know how many darts you will have left after a certain engagement. If you get up there and you shoot off eight, eight darts, you know you only have four left in here. Now that's your call, whether you want to ditch and reload afresh, or if you want to keep your original mag in there, whether you're going to be backing up or if you're going to be taking out more zombies as they get closer. If you're in a uh, team on team game, it is the same call, whether you want to ditch this magazine and prep for attack reload or if you think those four darts are going to be enough to cover um, yourself or teammates to fall back or to your objective. But I filled up a bunch of different magazines and I'm going to test the ammo counter on camera just to show uh, how awesome it is and how perfect it fits on so many buzzes. I showed it to you on a Strife, a modified Strife, a lightly modified Recon Mark II with the top priming slide. And then a Raven, which this does have the extra cord up here, but it doesn't get in my way at all. And if it would, it's not one of those things where, you know, you can't, you can easily just push it and it will kind of stay there. So get myself some more magazines, 
Love the uh, 3D uh, printed mag holders here. Love them so much. So I got a, a second 12, three 12s, and an 18. Again, we will have to mess with settings, but that's the fun of it. And away we go! All right, we're gonna finger bang. Don't know how well you can see that. I'll try and get better. Change of settings. We are going up to 18. That is the Ammo Counter by Ammo Counter. And I am so, so happy to have the, uh, the V2. It makes everything a little bit better. Because um, back in my, uh, in my really heavy Nerf War days, uh, when I used to go out and, and uh, actually game every now and then uh, with some friends, it was always a pain uh, when you're engaging. You never know when you're going to be out of ammo unless you're physically counting. Okay, that was a three dart. That was four. Okay, I only shot one. I'm in a 12-round magazine. Uh, I got to ditch this. So, you know, you never knew. Now we have technology to tell us we do, and this is the second generation of the original style ammo counter. But the thing I really do like is it lets you use drum magazines. The original did as well. But this also lets you use 15 round banana magazines, 22 round banana magazines from Worker, and it is just so, so nice to have an ammo counter that can do it all. It can, so many varieties of magazines, 25 round drums, all the way up to 35 round Raider drums. Such a nice thing to have. And I love the design. I love the fact that you can get a fully black barrel. You can get a fully orange barrel. Or you can get this um, with both. And I do love the uh, the venting holes here, quote unquote. I do love that so much. And they are covered by the inside of the barrel. So the orange shows through on any barrel mount. Unless you have a modified barrel mount. So I love that so much. I think it is so cool. I love the ammo counter so much. It seriously it, it makes nerfing so much better. Just knowing how much ammo you have. Like this is a 25 round drum. It is so nice, so easy just to glance down every once in a while while you're firing. Even if you're firing away from yourself, it's a lot easier. And this is going to be a lot of darts to clean up, but I'm going to live with it. But this is a 35 round drum, right? And it's a little bulky, kind of jabs me in the chest, but that's not the point. Because you can use this again on any blaster, doesn't matter. And it's so nice to... And there, now I'm down to 24 darts. And I don't have to guess and be like, ah, oh, maybe I shot off 10, maybe I shot off 12, maybe I shot off more than that. And you're not really paying attention because now you have a very small, not too big, doesn't come out all the way out to here, not too bulky. But now you have an ammo counter that you can slap on any blaster that will keep up with you. Keep up with full auto blasters, modified full auto blasters that can tell you how much ammo you have left in your magazine after you're just spraying and praying whether you're hip firing or accurately trying to land your shots as best as you and your blaster physically can but i love i love the ammo counter it is so nice i should say the ammo counter v2 it is such a nice addition to so many builds especially personal builds that make a place in my heart because of how much they are worth in the end and how much time and how much fun you have with them. The ammo counter just adds to that. Guys, so if you do want an ammo counter, again, go check out Ammo Counter's Etsy page where he has 
a whole bunch of stuff, a 90 degree angle adapter so you can have your ammo counter over here sitting up straight just like this and a scope up here. He's got kits for certain blasters, kits for certain scopes, uh, different attachments, and of course the ammo counter itself with its variety of options. So thank you guys very much for watching and, what, and of course sticking around at least this long to fully admire the ammo counter V2 in all its glory and watching me and hearing me praise about it so much. I love the ammo counter guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And again, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Nerf on.